everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com and as always Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And over the past couple months, I've been taking a look at pretty much every single brand new Ghostbusters item released from Hasbro. I mean, we take a look at the brand new Ghostbusters Plasma series action figures based on Ghostbusters Afterlife, every single child Ghostbusters roleplay item, those oh so wonderful and super messy mini puff surprise mystery figures. And speaking of messy and speaking of surprise figures, today we're finally taking a look at the brand new Ghostbusters Ectoplasm Ghost Gusher line. And I cannot wait to finally tear into these. They've been on my radar ever since they were announced like a year and a half, if not a little longer than that. But obviously with the multiple delays of Ghostbusters Afterlife, a lot of the toys got delayed as well. But given that Ghostbusters Afterlife is practically here now, it comes out this coming Friday exclusively in theaters. I think it's only fitting that I finally have my hands on these ghost gushers. Now before I tear into these today and I show you how much gushing a ghost can do, I would like to send a huge thank you out to Hastel Toy and Collectibles. I saw a picture of these on Hastel's Instagram page. I sent him a message and said, hey, I'd like some of those ghost gushers. And being the hell of a salesman he is, he hooked me up. In fact, if you're trying to track down any toys or collectibles, no matter if it's Ghostbusters, wrestling, or just action figures in general, be sure to reach out to my man, Pastel Toy and Collectibles. I'm gonna include a link down below in this video's description to his Instagram page. Now the actual packaging for these Ghost Gushers, they are all the same. Really the only difference is if you look at the top of the figures, you can clearly see which figures are inside. And this line consists of Slimer, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, a Terror Dog, and series newcomer, Muncher. Now, remember when I told you there's kind of like a blind bag mystery component to these figures? Well, each one of these ghosts actually include another ghost inside, you know, in with the slime. In fact, here's an image up on your screen right now to give you a better breakdown of the line. So obviously, if you do want to collect the entire line, as in collecting every single one of those like little mini ghosts, you're going to be buying a lot of ghost gushers. But there is a bit of a way to kind of cheat the system a little bit and find out which mini ghost is inside which larger ghost without even like opening up the packaging. You see on the very top, there is a very faint number stamped in. And you're probably wondering, well, what do those numbers mean? Well, they're gonna tell you which mini ghost is inside. And this breakdown does come courtesy of Bank Maniac over on Instagram. So I would like to send a huge thank you out to him and those that assisted in this project and put all the research together making it easier for collectors like me to get the entire line without having to, you know, buy an endless supply of these Ghost Gushers. Now, right quick, I do actually want to fixate on the packaging here. You can see we do have Slimer just gushing there. In behind him, you can both see the Terry Dog and an adorable rendition of Muncher. And then on the other side, you can see the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man looking oh so happy. So let's go ahead, unbox these Ghost Gushers and, you know, play with some slime. Okay, so I think we're going to kick off this unboxing with the ghost that is just so dominantly displayed on the packaging. Everyone's favorite disgusting little green slime ball, Slimer. Now it looks like there's like a little tear tab here. Let's go ahead and see if I can get my fingernail, my non-existent fingernail in there. Oh, I just did. So let's tear that open. So I've got the outer wrap taken off of him there and there he is. Uh, it looks like actually he's already leaked a little bit because I can see some slime in here with the packaging unless it's supposed to be like that. Let's pop the top here. Oh, you can already see some of the slime. It looks like there's some kind of like little protector over the top of him here. I'm guessing that's to make sure that he doesn't leak too, too much. All right, we got that off. I guess this is where the magic happens. Let's go ahead and just, oh, just take him out of there. I, lo <laughs> I love the look of that slime. So ooey, so gooey. And I think all we really have to do right now is just put a little bit of pressure and he is going to, oh yeah, he is going to gush. Look at that. Disgusting. Come on. I, I love that. Oh, and actually the slime, it, it feels, well, it felt pretty good at the start. I mean, it's not liquidy at all, but it is quite sticky when it comes to sticking to my fingers. I mean, should I really like deduct points considering this slime is actually slimy? Let's go ahead and see if we can get more out of Slimer here, ah. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna see if I can reach into old Slimer and just kind of pull out that mystery ghost. Come on, Slimer, come on, you're fighting me for him. There, there, there it is. Oh, that, that is so disgusting looking. Now what you're taking a look at right here is some B-roll footage I shot after this review where, you know, I cleaned up this little ghost because he was just covered in that super sticky slime. Like, here he is right there, let's go ahead and put him down on there, oh look, just look at that. When it comes to slime like that I would wanna play with, I don't know 
if I would actually want to play with this stuff. But when it comes to slime that, you know, you would see in a Ghostbusters film, like they knocked it out of the park. This looks perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and move Slimer over to the side here. And now we're going to move on to the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Let's see if we can break into here. Once again, hands are like full of slime. I can't get a good grip on this guy. Here. I just, eh, I just use my teeth. I got slime. I got slime in my mouth. Oh, and just look at this table. It looks disgusting. I, I, I love it. I, yeah, I totally love it. Okay, so now we've got the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man here. Let's go ahead and take off all of his like little plastic and such around his face. And speaking of that face, just look how cute he is. He's got the big black pupils, the big pink tongue, all the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man detail. And then prepare to watch all that cuteness go away as he begins to ecto project everywhere. <laughs> oh, once again, just, I, ah. Come on, stay puffed, out with it. Out with it, give me, give me that little miniature ghost. And it is deep in there, I, I'm fighting with it. Come on, come on. Okay, and here it is. We got this little purple guy here. Once again, here's some B-roll of that ghost all cleaned up, not covered in that slime. And oh, stay puffed, man. It looks like you've been like out at an all night bender. Look at the mess, look at the mess you've created. Come on, let's just kind of plop that on your head there. Oh, if you couldn't tell, I am having a wonderful, wonderful time here. Now let's go ahead and move on to the terror dog. Once again, opening these packages pretty hard when your fingers are covered in slime. Let's see if I can get this one again. And once again, I'm using my teeth off that. I got slime in my mouth. Oh, okay, let's, uh, oh. Quick uh, safety tip, kids. Do not consume any of the slime. It's for play. It's not, it's not for eating. This is not eating slime. All right, so let's take the plastic off the terror dog here. Oh, and this is probably my favorite one in the line. This terror dog looks great. Cute little pooch. Maybe I got a milk bone for you. That is if you have what I want, and that is some of that ghost gushing action. Let's go ahead and just, oh, once again, all the slime just coming out of that terror dog. Now let's reach into the terror dog and see what he has for me. And oh, this is, this is the one I've been wanting. This is of course, uh, well, it looks a lot like Sam Hain from the real Ghostbusters animated series. I love the look of him and I'm always such a sucker when it comes to anything Sam Hain being included in pretty much any Ghostbusters toy line because he is something that seems to be always overlooked. Now moving on, we've got the last ghost. Oh man, there's so much slime. The last ghost in the line, we have got Newcomer with Ghostbusters Afterlife, we have got Muncher. And let's go over here, open it up again, and I got slime on my lips. I am gonna have to clean this table, these figures, my floor. So good after today's video. Look at how adorable Muncher looks with all those disgusting blue little fat rolls. And actually this sculpt here, it looks to be the exact same sculpt that we saw with the muncher that was included in the brand new Ghostbusters Afterlife Slime Lab. In fact, we got them on your screen right here. Yeah, there's no doubt. That is the exact same sculpt being used for both of these munchers. But I will say, I do prefer this one being that it is, you know, in color, it has some paint app to it. It looks better that way. Now from there, muncher, you know what you gotta do. You gotta cough up that ghost for me. And oh, wait a minute, muncher, you can see, he, <laughs> he made a horrible noise there. And you can see here, muncher is actually full of blue slime rather than green slime. Uh, now let's go ahead and reach in and see what ghost we can pull out of old Muncher here. Man, you like to make a lot of weird noises there, Munch. All right, and we have a little yellow ghost here. Okay, we got him out of the slime. Oh, this is just, this is disgusting. Come on, Muncher, give me, give me all that slime. Come on, boy. So there is the fourth mystery ghost that we've uh, unboxed here today. And the final one that we're unboxing today there are certainly more to collect, and I gotta say, now that I've got these four, I've got the itch. I'm gonna have to grab every single other ghost in this ectoplasm ghost gusher mystery line. Okay, that was just stupid, slimy fun. Once again, I would like to send a huge thank you out to Hastel Toy and Collectibles over on Instagram for the hookup today. As I already mentioned, if there's anything you're looking to find when it comes to your toy collection, be sure to reach out to them. I've got a link down below in this video's description. 
That's all I've got for you here right now. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in this video's description, and I'll see everybody right back here next time.